Hello everyone and welcome to Bell Explains. In this video, I will be explaining Mind Test 1.2a and Mind Test 1.2b. So first, let me explain. When we have a base with the power of m times the same base with another power, that will add the powers together. So that will be a base of a, m plus n. So here, let's try it out here. We have 3 to the power of 2 times 3 times 3 to the power of 4. So here, since there is no power, it will be a 1, which means 3 to the power of 2 plus 1 plus 4. And that will give us 3 to the power of 7. Next for b, we have negative 0 0.4 to the power of 4 times negative 0 0.4 to the power of 3 and times negative 0 0.4. So since here there is no power, it will be a 1. So that will be negative 0 0.4 in a bracket. 4 plus 3 plus 1, that will be negative 0 0.4 to the power of 8. Next for C, we have 4 over 7 times 4 over 7 to the power of 3 times 4 over 7 to the power of 5. So that will give us 4 over 7 with the power of 1 plus 3 plus 5. So here it will give us 4 over 7 to the power of 9. And for D, we have, as you can see here, negative 1, 2 over 5 in a bracket to the power of 2 times negative 1, 2 over 5 to the power of 3 times negative 1, 2 over 5 to the power of 5. So here that will give us negative 1, 2 over 5 to the power of 2 plus 3 plus 5. So that will give us negative 1, 2 over 5 to the power of 10. We'll do E. 4m to the power of 2 times 1 over 2m to the power of 3 times negative 3m to the power of 4. So here we have a number, a numerical in front of the base, which is m. The m here is the base. So let's accumulate all the numbers to one side. And here we have m. So 2 plus 3 plus 4 because the power here is 2, 3 and 4. So that will give us negative 6 as the numerical which is 4 times 1 over 2 times negative 3 so that gives us negative 6 m to the power sorry m to the power of 9. 9 we get from 2 plus 3 plus 4. Next for f we have n to the power of 6 times 4 over 25 n to the power of 2 times 5 over 4 n to the power of 3 times n. So that will give us 4 over 25 times 5 over 4 and we have 6 plus 2 plus 3 plus 1. So that will give the numeric at 1 over 5 n to the power of 12. For g, we have negative x to the power of 4 times 25 over 4x times 12 over 5x to the power of 2. So let's get the numerics to one side. Put it in a bracket and then we'll write the x. Here we have 4 plus 1 plus 2. So that will give us negative 15x to the power of 7. And lastly for h, we have negative 1 over 2y to the power of 5 times negative 6y to the power of 3 times 1 over 3y to the power of 4. So getting the numbers to one side, we have negative 1 over 2 times negative 6 times 1 over 3, then y 
5 plus 3 plus 4. So that will give us 1 y to the power of 12. We'll have y to the power of 12. Next, mind test 1.2b. State the simplest index form. For a here, we have 5 to the power of 4 times 9 to the power of 3 times 5, 1, and 9, 2. So since here there are different bases, let's get 5 to one side and 9 to the other side. So we'll have 5 to the power of 4 times 5 to the power of 1, 9 to the power of 3, and 9 to the power of 2. So here we will have 5, 4 plus 1, and 9 to the power of 3 plus 2. So here we will have 5 to the power of 5 and 9 to the power of 5. Next for B, we have 0 0.4 to the power of 2 times 1.2 to the power of 3. 0 0.4, 1.2 to the power of 5 and 1.2. So he will have 1 and 1 here. Putting the 0 0.4 to one side will give us 2 plus 1 and 1.2 will give us 3 plus 5 plus 1. So here we have 0 0.4 to the power of 3 and 1.2 to the power of 9. Next for C, we have 12x to the power of 5 times y to the power of 3 times 1 over 2x times 2 over 3y to the power of 4. That will be 12 times 1 times 1 over 2 times 2 over 3. And here we have x 5 plus 1 times y 3 plus 4. So that will give us 4 times x to the power of 6 times y to the power of 7. And lastly for d, we have negative 2k to the power of 5 times p to the power of 6 times 1 over 4 p to the power of 5 and 3k. Here we have 1. So putting the numbers to one side, we have negative 2 times 1 times 1 over 4 times 3, all this in a bracket. And then we have k, 5 plus 1, and p, 6 plus 5. So that will give us negative 3 over 2, k, 6, and p, 11. And that's all for part 1. Stay tuned for part 2.